So we have Fred dogs fighting in the building in Dubai, right? So it's usually, you know, people take interviews for Fred, but now we're changing up a bit. Yeah, we it need, was you know, you, you, I mean, 100k <laughs> subscribers. You are at that point where you know people should take interviews from you, right? First of all, how has the journey been for you? It's been good, you know. I mean, it's very nice to finally have 100k. It feels like not completed it, but it's one major step, I guess. The plaque just arrived, which is really, really cool. And then we find ourselves in Dubai this week. I mean, it's nice to be reunited with yourself. I always do interviews with you because you're a good guy. Dubai's fun as well. You can't complain, you know, life's good. Yeah. I mean, we have the F1 weekend coming up next week. Dubai is filled with events. Yes. Right. Do you see maybe settling down here in Dubai? Because uh, I'm into real estate. I'm from a real estate background, right? So I ask this question a lot because Dubai is the center of everything. You probably see yourself yeah. moving down the line here. We might have to sell my house then. <laughs> I mean, you already know. We got a deal done. I only sold some houses to Anthony. Yeah. <laughs> but he's in this imaginary world where you know you get the houses, villas, girls. I guess I know. I would love to. I would love to live here. It's an amazing place. But then misfits, they all happen in the UK. So you had to travel back to Dubai to the UK the whole I time. Mean, that by that time, you can afford a lot of flight tickets. <laughs> But yeah, maybe, but I guess maybe it's more. I guess it's a place where you retire, where the work's done, then you can settle down here yeah, and chill out sure. here. I've always liked one of the idea, like one of those beach houses, because yeah. those would be really, really cool. Like Iman Ganzi has one of those houses. Yeah, yeah. I mean, by the way, we have an interview coming from him as well. Oh really? Yeah, yeah. So we toured his house. Oh wow! But yeah, um, let's talk about misfits. Yes. Let's talk about you know uh, the fights that you're looking forward to in the future. What do you think um, the fights that you are waiting for the most for, from Misfits? Mm. Yeah, so Misfits, they're looking like they're going to have an event in January and they're guessing the Brazil card is in February and then hopefully Ethan Bazinga in March and then moving on. So I guess Misfits will aim to have an event every every month next year. Will you come to those events, you reckon? Uh, I'm coming. I'm sorting my visas out. So, uh, what about Misfits coming to Dubai? Yeah, I know. I want them to come. <laughs> yeah. It'd be great, wouldn't it? I mean, we can, we can come, we can join as well. And it's always fun in Dubai, bro. Yes. But yeah. Uh, what do you think about KSI? Do you think he's going to retire or he's going to fight next? No, KSI will fight Jake Paul, I reckon, then he'll retire. Right, right. And then he'll come back a little bit. Boxing's a very addictive sport, I feel. And uh, you never, when, you get, when you get into boxing, you never really escape. Even me, I box as an amateur, and here I'm still involved in it, doing interviews, you know. So when you get involved in boxing, there's no way out. Who are you fighting next? Who am I fighting next? I don't know if I ever fight. I get asked this question quite a lot. I guess Mrs. is always going to be around, so I've always got the option. It's not like it's here for a month and then gone forever. So it's always there for me. So I'm never really too stressed out about it, but maybe one day. I'm just very happy doing interviews, being able to talk for a living, even though I'm a very bad talker and I do talk oh, very fast. Right, right. <laughs> being able to talk for a living is a very, it's very, very nice. And I, I like living the life as well. I like going out. I like having a nice time as well. I worked hard, you know. I sacrificed a lot of my childhood like, doing interviews and stuff like that. Staying in like a dark room, editing, editing all the videos, putting them all up. So I don't, I've worked hard now and I guess it's time to Enjoy the fruits of the labor and just having having fun, you know. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I mean, you're too young to enjoy now. Just hustle some more. Maybe after ten years down the line, you can enjoy yourself. Oh yeah, no, no. I'm still working hard, of course. Yes. <laughs> right. Dubai, yeah. Imagine this. Yeah. KSI versus Jake Paul in Dubai. In Dubai. I mean, they definitely got the money to afford it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, they're gonna get a lot of money if they uh, fight here. But money, money, money talks at the end of the day. I mean, you say that, but anything's possible. I mean, if Dubai shows them X amount of money, they think, wow. Then I'm not, so I wouldn't be surprised. I wouldn't be surprised if KSI and Jake fight twice. First time in the UK, then the rematch. They can do Dubai. a world tour. In the, yeah, in the rematch in Dubai, they could do it, couldn't they? And get a lot of money from that. Right, right. Now, last question. Um, Fez Batista has been in the scene. He's a oh, cl yeah. close friend of ours. I like Fez. Like yeah, yeah, he's a nice guy. He has he's that character, glasses, right? Yeah, yeah, he's a cool guy. So, who do you say, see him? Uh, obviously, he got injured. He was, um, I mean, I don't know if I can say that. I'll cut this part if I can. He was about to fight Jarvis. I don't know if he'll fight Jarvis. Um, I'm not too sure about that. What well, weight is Fez Batista? Is that 145, I think? Yeah, 145. Yeah, I think he told me he's about 147 pounds. That's welterweight in professional. Who do you think will be the best fight for Fez Batista? Fez Batista. Where's he from, Fez Batista? Where is he's he? from the UK. From the UK. Yeah. From the UK. So, but where's his fan base? Fan base is a mix of Brazilian, UK, and an Asian community. Well, I'll, mix, say, because he's, well, I'll say he's a lot of, you know, for Lady Gaga fan. Oh, yeah, They're yeah. supporting him. Well, I'll say chuck him on the Brazil card if he's got Brazilian fans. He can fight Aldo, couldn't he? He's always been calling for the Aldo fight. I mean, if Dean, yes. If Dean the Great doesn't get the Aldo fight, then give it to Fez. I mean, I, I reckon uh, Dean, um, I reckon Fez should get a fight and on the Brazilian card. I think he can pull in a lot, a lot of numbers over there. But yeah, listen, it was great talking to you. It was very brief. 
Let's go have some shawarmas, <laughs> right? Let me get done and let me contact you. Awesome, yeah. For sure, Thanks for sure. Give, give me a WhatsApp number. Yeah, yeah, we will. Cut. Thank you.